Hello, this is Jurgens, and I'm going to show you a blueprint of one of the bases of my PvP, PvP event called Capture the Block. Um, well, as you can see, this is uh, one of the bases that's going to look like, and now it's made out of stone, sand, and dirt, but it's going to uh, uh, be made out of uh, red wool or blue wool. So uh, just uh, don't mind that right now. Uh, in the middle, you can see um, the one of the uh, it's a sand block. Well, it's, it's going to be a red wool block or a blue wool block, and that's a block you need to capture. Okay, let's go down. First, I'm going to show you uh, around the base a bit. It's not that special, but so you just you, so you can see how uh, big it is. I made it, uh, it's gonna be like a little bit of the castle kind of style with those blocks and some torches on top of it. But don't mind the uh, dirt and stone, that's not how it's gonna look like. Okay, this is the entrance of the base, and as you enter, you can walk around in it. I'm gonna show you the block room first. This is the block room. This is where uh, the block is gonna be. You can capture. Um, you can see I placed uh, pressure plates around it and some redstone, just for an example how it works. Uh, the redstone is gonna be under this room. So uh, what happens if you destroy this block that you need to take to capture it? Um, when you destroy it. It's gonna fall on the wooden pl pressure plates and the redstone will be activated and the redstone will be wired to some kind of alarm system that I haven't figured out how to make yet but I'm sure someone does. Um, yeah, that will trigger uh, an alarm system and so you can know uh, if your block has been taken and it's gonna be heard uh, all around the battlefield. Uh, still have to see how that's gonna work. So, you destroy it, alarm system goes off, and you know, your block is taken. Even if uh, if the block uh, falls in the middle, you can't reach it. You just, if you go like this, it always gets activated. I got, I can't get it. So, I always have to go in the middle. So, uh, that's the uh, the block room and the alarm system. Um, over here you have some ladders you can go up to uh, to this level of the base and you can have uh, a nice view overview of uh, who's in your base or uh, just if you want a larger view you go up here and you can see uh, the battlefield a bit also might be nice if you have arrows you can uh, you can fire at people and defend your uh, your base from here. Um, I also want to show you uh, a position the position of one of the tunnels. I think is going to end. It's going to be over here. It's going to be uh, a tunnel that's connected to uh, somewhere in the middle of the map. Um, just it's just for people who like to sneak around and want to be more uh, stealthy, so they can uh, they can just sneak their way over here, and once they're here, they they just go sneak up and are in the base, so you can avoid the the fighting a little bit more, and people have to be more alert when they're defending the base. Keep on the watch. Well, I guess that's it. Um, Hack has given me green light on building the whole area. So, uh, well, that's it. You can see how big it is.